Hey everyone, this is Sunny Justice with It's a Crime and Shame. So the affidavit for Don Stephen McDougal is out. So I'm just going to read it to you guys. And it says that affiant being identified herein as Detective Kayla Hemperley employed with the Polk County Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigation. The affiant Detective Hemperley has over six years experience in the field of law enforcement. Your affiant has specialized training in the field of murder offenses, assaults, as crimes, crimes against children, and other family offenses. So number one. Affiant shall show that on the morning of February 15, 2024, Polk County Sheriff's Office Detectives Investigation has revealed that said defendant, Don Stephen McDougall, along with the child victim, left the home of the child victim located at 231 Lakeside Drive in Lake Livingston Village, subdivision in Livingston, Polk County, Texas. McDougall and the child victim left in McDougall's 2003 Chevrolet um, Suburban with the intent to drop the child off at the school bus stop near the entrance of the subdivision. Now it was discovered that the child victim was not at the bus stop when a Livingston ISD bus arrived at the location and discovered that the child did not make it to the Creekside Elementary School that day. Two, the affiant shall show that on February 20th, 2024, that the body of the 11-year-old victim, Audrey Daniel Cunningham, was located during a search of the Trinity River. Law enforcement dive teams located the child's body within the Trinity River near State Highway 59 South at the Polk County San Jacinto, Jac Jacinto uh, County Line, San Jacinto County Justice of P.C. McGee, ordered that the child's victim's body be transported to Harris County Medical Examiner's Office for autopsy and to determine the cause of death. Now, the affiant shall show that Don Stephen McDougall was a friend of the Cunningham family and resided on the property in a cab over a camper. McDougall had access to the interior of the child home victim's home. The affiant, 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 some people say affiant, some people say affiant, by the way, shall show that the video footage and cell phone data places McDougall at three locations of interest. Evidence in connection with the defendant, um, the child, uh, was located at two of those locations and recovered. One of those locations is the Trinity River near State Highway 59 South, where Audrey's body was later located. Five, the affiant shall show through the investigation investigators were able to determine through cell phone data video footage and other forensic evidence mcdougall lied about his whereabouts and activities the day of february 15th of 2024. now six affiant shall further show that upon recovery of the child victim's body law enforcement discovered a large rock tied to the child's victim's body the rope was used with consistent or was consistent with the rope that was observed in mcdougall's vehicle on a traffic stop two days prior number seven a fiant shall further show that through the investigation there is sufficient evidence to show that on the date of february 15 2024 said defendant don stephen mcdougall committed the offense of of course capital murder anyways you guys so it's so sad so remember when in the press conference when the person asked if there was anything that of course had tied you know held um audrey cunningham down well i mean there we go it's in there so thank you guys very much for watching and again prayers to audrey's family and first of all prayers and for foremost to this beautiful child whose life was taking at the hands of this monster thank you guys for watching please give the video a heart